an awesome entry and an awesome guillotine choke. Let's have a look. Hey guys, guillotine chokes, one of my favorite attacks. I really love doing them, especially at the moment, just because it's a Australian summer. It's pretty hot, so we're in no gi a lot. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a real easy way in, especially if you're a smaller person, to break someone's posture down long enough to actually get them in the guillotine while you're practicing. This will really help, but check it out, because it works on better guys too. So, if I've got someone in my closed guard, if he has bad posture, uh, I can, hopefully, if he doesn't see me coming, get up, move back, and wrap around and hit guillotine chokes. Um, if you're really fast, that's a really good approach. I'm not that fast. So, I'll show you what I like to do. I like to, with my closed guard, slide my feet down so they go past his butt, and then I get my feet in, toes pointing out. You can see here, like a mounted grapevine, exact same principle, but I'm in guard, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm now just going to pull him forward by any means necessary, usually by just grabbing his elbows or triceps. You can grab the head, and I'm gonna kick my legs out and up as I bring him forward. Don't do this too, uh, hard with your partners because it can hurt their like uh, patellas and patella tendons on the mat. So just be careful. So I'm just going to pull him forward and then kick up and out. And here we go. We have a partner with broken posture. And even if he tries to keep the best posture he can, like right now, doing this almost like a uh, upward dog yoga type movement. I don't think that's the correct terminology. But you know the one I'm talking about, this cat stretch type thing. He's doing this and I'm going to choke him because he can't actually get good posture. So I'm keeping my legs out, I'm going to windshield wipe in my hand, and I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna loop around, and I'm gonna grab hold of his chin. Like I'm gripping like this. So once I've gripped hold of his chin, I get my other hand in, and now I'm just gonna pull my hands through his neck here, okay? He can't get out, he can't change angle. So let's have a look at this one again. Notice the feet were to control him, to stop him from stacking forward, but it's what broke his posture. So I wiggle back, I get my toes in, I kick him up and out, and I keep my legs locked. I come up and I grab around his neck. The beauty is, if he tries to defend, he sort of collapses on me, like this. He's, he's not in a good position to defend because his hands are trying to hold his body weight up while he's trying to defend his neck. And once he's here, all I do is pull that wrist bone straight through his neck. This radius bone here, you pull that straight through the neck, okay? Just make sure whenever you're pulling a guillotine, it's not about hurting people's necks. It's not about stretching people out. It's just about getting the head of your radius bone there straight through their trachea. Don't overcomplicate it and try to squeeze really hard. Just pull that straight through and make sure you're cutting uh, perpendicular, okay? Like, don't be squeezing up like this. You squeeze that straight through the neck just like you're cutting off someone's head perfectly. Not that I've done that. Anyhow, there you go, guys. A wonderful entrance and a fantastic attack. And if you guys get bored, I have another video up here uh, where we look at Kimuras from the same uh, position, okay? So feel free to play around with some Kimuras from that grapevine too, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Masterclass, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.